One more way to prepare yourself for retirement, contributing to a Roth IRA. Why a Roth? Budgeting expert Joni Kern of Freedom Financial is here to help us understand the numbers. Good morning, Joni. Good morning, Rachel. Okay, what is a Roth IRA? A Roth IRA is, was, it's actually a legislated um, investment vehicle for retirement. Okay. Um, a man by the name of William Roth is who it's named after. And it is a way to diversify your income. It's an additional way to save for retirement, but it also diversifies your income so that you're in a lower tax bracket when you retire. Okay, how is it different from a traditional IRA? Um, traditional IRAs like 401ks, you put your money in pre-tax. Okay. So it comes out of your paycheck before you put tax on it. Roths, you put the money in after you pay taxes on it. Okay, so talk about that a little bit more and why we would want to then do a Roth IRA. It's really very simple if you think about it. Okay. Because my money goes into a Roth after I've paid taxes on it, I don't have to pay any taxes on any of the gains when I retire. My 401k money, because it goes in pre-tax, I have to take it out starting at 59 and a half years old and I have to pay taxes on my gains. And the whole thing with that was the assumption that we're gonna make less money in retirement than we make while we're working, okay. so we'll be in a lower tax bracket. Got it, all right. So do you suggest that we need both? I do think we need both because if I need to, if I need to take out, say, $50,000 a year for retirement, and I take out $25,000 from my 401k and $25,000 from my Roth IRA, I'm only paying taxes on $25,000 in income instead of paying taxes on the entire $50,000. So it can drop your tax rate by um, 15% or about $15,000. And there are some limits on who can um, take out a Roth IRA, but it, you don't have to make that much money to start one. That's correct. All you need to, there aren't any lower income limits. All you need is a taxable income. So a 16 year old that's working at McDonald's can actually open up and start investing into a Roth IRA. Okay. But income like um, Social Security or disability that isn't taxable isn't, you can't open a Roth IRA with that money. You have to have money that you have to file taxes against. Can you make too much money to start with? You can, you can, they have, for single households and for dual households, they have income limits. Because this is legislated to help people save money for retirement so they aren't as dependent on Social Security, they have upper income limits where you're not able to get those tax breaks. When you're talking to your clients, are, are people prepared enough for retirement? No, at all, no. It's th something like 80% of the people that I talk to, probably eight out of 10, say they don't, have in, they don't have enough money put away. And when I see their financials, they don't have anywhere near enough money put away. We're still very dependent on Social Security getting us through. But if you think about it, Social Security pays us an average of about $11,000 a year. I don't know if you can live on that after retirement, but I'm not going to be able to. You can't pay rent and, and food on that kind of money. So a Roth IRA, RIA is, um, our IRA is one way to get started. And uh, Joni, thank you so much for helping us understand it a little bit. She's tried three times now to help me understand it, and I'm getting closer and closer each time. So thank Good. you so much, You're and welcome. thank you for helping our viewers as well. You're welcome.